Oh, yeah. Hey guys, what's yeah, up, man? Yeah, yeah. Man, stop yeah, us. Uh, went to a um, place that was giving out um, Christmas, uh, I think it's Christmas dinner, uh, early. Uh, today is the 23rd. Uh, they were sitting early. I just went there and, you know, some uh, creep smoked my hat, man. You know, why raise a creep, man? Just saying, man. Like I've been saying, man, we checked out a lot of biracial uh, people, a lot of uh, creeps there, man. Like I said, man, I'm from the South. I'm originally from the South, and these people, like, smoke drugs and whatever, and, uh, you know, they advertise. They advertise. Uh, you see that stuff on, like, in um, Facebook, and you see that stuff on, like, um, Instagram and Periscope. These people, uh, you know, advertise. You know, advertise, man. These are dope people and, you know, dope, uh, dope heads, really. Think they dope, man. They're not drug pushers. Drug pushers are the ones who really uh, you know, push the drugs on the street. And these uh, people who advertise are what I call uh, uh, binoculars. You see, I got glasses, binoculars. Uh, Overrepresentation of a brother, man. You don't have to. Uh, I can see you black, man. I can see you black. I got the shiki on, uh, but you can see my face. I'm black, man. Anything, any, uh, anything else, anything else tells you that I'm black and I'm a human being, man. I don't have to go uh, go uh, advertising. These people go advertising for the uh, gutter trash, man that uh, they see on uh, stereotype uh, stuff like um, that new Superfly and, and Superfly back then in the day, man. I mean, Mr. Vargas. Um, I'm an Africa, African Latino. Uh, Mr. Vargas, man, went out and told on the uh, Jews, I mean, told on Hollywood that uh, they was gonna remake it into something else that was very uh, deter, uh, very, Tiger, um, <clears throat> um, exploitative. Can't get the word out, but very exploitative. Very, man, uh, very, uh, very bad. Very, very bad. Very, very bad, man. Very bad for, uh, you know, people of a color, man. He turned that into, uh, turned it into, uh, to, uh, to the NAACP. You know what the NAACP did? Uh, overlooked him. And then do nothing to uh, the man who uh, you know was gonna turn Superfly into some some real real racist stuff. But you know, back at the time it was a uh, black exploitation. They was just making it you know uh, more uh, more super you know more superhero more you know uh, you know uh, exploitation of uh, you know uh, of black uh, culture back then. But. They was gonna make it into like uh, a step and fetch it. The NAACP is a racist organization automatically. They don't take money from no other um, no other groups than racist groups, unions, and other groups like that. They got a history of hiring Klansmen, flat out, and crazy white people. The um, uh, crazy one, the, the the latest crazy one is Rachel Dozel or Rachel Dozel. This woman said she was black and she was a, a white woman. Her people had to go and tell this, uh, tell, tell, you know, tell the NAACP, uh, man, why are you still hiring this lady and um, hiring this lady as the president? This, this is, this, this is not, this is not the first case, man. Um, uh, the NAACP hired a Klansman as the president, a chapter president, a, a chapter president, man, a chapter president, man, as, uh, you know, as president of a chapter of the NAACP. Uh, some tells me, man, Mecca Evers, we know who did Mecca Evers, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. The government, the government got a real, real, real good, uh, real good case against a Mississippi I think it's a, uh, he's in Mississippi and uh, he's got a case against him for killing Mecca Evers in Mississippi. I think he's in a, a house or he's a senator in Mississippi, a congressman in Mississippi. Uh, it's another thing about Detroit. Harriet Tugman, 
I got some books that I read about Hedwig Tugman that says that, uh, you know, the French, the French about the Indians over in Windsor, and a lot of stuff about Anglo-Saxon Anglo churches in Detroit. They're racist. If you read anything about Anglo-Saxon uh, white people in Detroit, they're extremely racist. Extremely racist. For real. It's no lie. You can read it on the book, man. They'll tell you. Uh, Anglo-Saxon uh, churches is extremely racist back then. And uh, it couldn't have came here going over across to Windsor. Uh, the French racist against the Indians. Uh, uh, they they set a, a, a colony. The Indians tried to set a little uh, little group over there. Didn't work uh, for real. Let me know, man, what's going on, man. But anyway, I I just went down there to you know just just, just to eat uh, dinner, and uh, one of these creatures stole my hat. Didn't say nothing to nobody. And just move, kept it moving. Helped the other guys. They was like ushers or whatever. Kept it going. Listened to every word they were saying. You know, it's, a, it's always some creep out there, man. Always a creep out there. For real. Always a creep out there. Just to ruin that, ruin your little thing, or ruin the, ruin the little show that somebody trying to put on, or a little event they trying to do. It's always a creep on to uh, Always get out there. For real. But peace. Peace, uh, I'll let you later. Oh, the air pollution in Detroit is terrible, man. Hideous, man. That's why I ain't gonna buy no product in Detroit. No product in Detroit. Uh, I'm looking at uh, looking at Toyota, uh, looking at a uh, Honda, looking at uh, the uh, China, uh, Koreans, uh, Kia, looking at uh, uh, Hyundai, looking at something like that, man. I'm not gonna, uh, you know, spend my money on uh, places that's gonna uh, push out uh, like uh, Mr. Barack, Barack Obama says, uh, you know, fluorocarbons and other pollution is coming from the United States. And they got the highest of level of anybody, any first, any first world country. For real, man. Let me know, man. Don't buy that. Uh, it was me. I don't buy no product uh, that I don't like or don't, uh, you know, uh, the, that's a uh, uh, discriminatory against people of color, I won't buy, period. Don't buy books, I buy books uh, all the time now. The latest one, I bought a South African uh, Nobel Prize winner. And he's pretty good. I don't know, I can't pronounce his name, but he's, it's a pretty good uh, book. Uh, I think it's The Climate um, in That Country, in South Africa. I think it's in South Africa. Uh, the climate of, uh, it's uh, something, let me see, it's on my phone, let me check it out, it's on my phone, I just, uh, just bought it man, it was only like, uh, I think it was like five bucks man, it's a Nobel uh, Prize winner uh, writer man, it's only five, five bucks man. And you don't have to watch that uh, crap TV, man. That WWE, uh, NFL. Oh, man, it's the climate of fear. It's the climate of fear, man. I think it's, uh, whoa, whoa, soy, sonaka, sonaka, something like that, man. But uh, it's, it's a climate of fear, man. It's a good book, man. And he's a Nobel, Nobel Prize winner, for real. Like um, uh, Pablo Narada, um, Maya Angelou, another Nobel Prize winner. Got all three of them. Uh, got all three of them. They pretty good books, man. Uh, authors, really. But letting you know, man, I don't buy nothing, nothing flat out that, uh, you know, uh, discriminatory of people of color. Period. Just let me know. Don't bother. I mean, this stuff is coming from over here for real. And coming from this city. Peace.